everybody. So I'm going to do a balloon kiss painting today, a small canvas, and I'm using the Pearl X powdered pigments mixed with flow mix. And we're going to do this over a white background. All right. All right. So I've completed my canvas preparation. I've got tape on the back. I've got push pins. I'm going to check it and make sure that it is level so my paint does not run off the end in weird patterns. And like I said, we're going to do this with a white background. So I do have some white already mixed up. And yes, yes, oh yes, it's in a mayonnaise bottle. So we're going to give us a background of white. And so what I'll do is I'll spread this around so it goes over the edge. And we're going to use this white background to help us make our balloon kisses. My husband's here as an audience today, so if you hear any snickering in the background, it's him. With this one, what we're going to do is we start out with just some paint in dots around the canvas. So I have some Perlex powders that are mixed up, and I have some random colors that are leftover paints. So we're going to use some of those. And the reason we want to mound our paintings in little puddles like this is it gives us a place to grab some paint with a balloon. Today we're going to use a balloon and make a kiss and it will end up being just like the painting that you saw at the beginning of this video. And as you can see some of those patterns are great. They are like flowers. And so it's exciting to see how some of those turn out. Just because of a balloon, in fact. All right, so as I go through this, I'm gonna speed up the camera a little bit. Always like to have a few paper towels ready and you'll see why in just a second all right here we go so I'm going to push into the white that's underneath as the base and pull it back up look how beautiful that is look at my balloon the patterns that are coming out on that so I can put that in a different place on my canvas that started out with white and it gives a great texture there whoa push and release. That's beautiful. And if you feel like you don't like the pattern that you have there, then what you're want to, you want to do next is take this and bring it to your paper towel, wipe it off, and then you get to start all again with a whole new pattern. So look how beautiful those are. Push and release. Oh my gosh, that one's Fabulous in the middle. Look at that. Let's give a little bit more white over here. And also, if you're not quite sure you like what you have left there, go back in the same place. That's okay. All right, let's go down into this white right here. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa. I'm not sure I like that one. Let's wipe that off. Try one more in the same spot. Ooh, I think I like that one now. All right, let's go into this one. Oh, I love that. 
And then what you can do is when you're almost finished, you start covering the ends. Look at that. All right, let's go into this last one. Oh, that's beautiful. This one is so nice, I might actually keep it in my own house. All right, so I think I'm going to leave that even, that negative space right there. And I'm going to go ahead and cover my sides with the paint that's left on my balloon. And I think we're going to call this one a finished painting. What do you think? Lovely. Look at it. Whoops. There we go. All right, so if you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that uh, pay mail, PayPal me link. That will help with any kind of paints that I need to continue to purchase. It's a PayPal me. It's like a tip jar. All right, thanks. Have a good day.